Fuel entering the engine cylinder mixes with oxygen from the air and combusts, generating power in the engine. The smoke produced from this combustion is expelled through the exhaust manifold as the piston moves from bottom to top. The pressure from this exiting exhaust smoke is used to spin a turbine, which is placed in the path of the exhaust. This turbine, in turn, rotates a connected compressor. As a result, this compressor draws an outside air, compresses it, and delivers a larger volume of compressed air to the engine cylinders. We've explained in a previous video that this is what a turbocharger does. Once the required air is available, the engine can burn the fuel more completely and produce more power. Understanding turbo lag. However, when you start the engine and press the accelerator, you might not immediately get the extra power from the turbocharger. This is because when you start the engine and press the accelerator, the combustion of fuel inside the engine needs to create exhaust smoke with enough pressure to rapidly spin the stationary turbine. It takes some time for this process to occur. The turbine can only spin at the necessary speed if the exhaust smoke has sufficient pressure. The small delay between pressing the accelerator and the turbine spinning fast enough for the compressor to deliver air to the engine, resulting in increased engine power, is called turbo lag. Modern turbochargers use various technologies to reduce this turbo lag. We will look into those in the next video.